previously in the God Breaking, a group of of adventurers. Now, um, not the the heroes that have been traveling their way up Mount Celestia. This is um, a group of monster hunters in the land of Eremore, previously known as Aralin. Um, you guys are in the t um, found your way into the town of Heathglen after having an, a kind of negative encounter with a group of bullets um, that were summoned on a whim from a bag of magic beans. And um, you found that in this town there are a few things amiss. Uh, one, a farmer named Farmer Yalls, he told you that a couple of puppies born in a litter had gone dark and black were born black and twisted and had torn up their mother and their siblings and were now running amok consuming his animals um, another dark incident you found was that the house of little Sanda Casterson a, a young about six year old girl was haunted haunted by some kind of spirit. You deduced that it was the spirit of her natural-born mother, um, and that her natural-born mother had been killed um, shortly after Santa was born by another young lady, another woman, Lena, who then went on to marry Santa's father and become basically Santa's stepmother. You, you captured uh, Lena Casterson and turned her over to the mayor, um, to be tried. The townsfolk and the mayor were none too happy with you guys, but they are playing along. The last job that you found was the presence of a hanging body over um, the Barrow Creek Crossing Bridge. And you went over there to investigate it, and you found, you encountered this person who informed you that the 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 body of a wizard hanging over the bridge it was not a a body hanging there at all. Well, it was a there is a body hanging there, but that it was a creature, a large creature who feeds on magical um, magical beings, specifically human ma um, magic casters, magic users, and that it was very dangerous. So the, the three of you banded together with. Uh, Geralt and decided to take on this creature, this Chelicerae together and at the end of last session he shot a streak of fire up into the trees and the Chelicerae began to descend from the branches holding the, the corpse of a mage in its mouth Gwen, you are currently still um, mostly crippled. You, you can walk at half speed, though you, you did steal Harlow Casterson's horse, as I believe. And that's it, right? I don't think I missed anything. Borrowed. <laughs> and I'm going to yeah. name my horse Adis. <laughs> right that Adis. Very good. Okay. So this is this is the shore by the bridge. You guys have come along roughly around here. I like Geralt is there with you. We've gone from like 2D graphics to like you know 3D fully regenerated you know Witcher style graphics. Remember before we were like on the drawn map, and now we've got oh, fully. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the parchment. I actually found it. The parchment that we we used last time looked like this. Yep. <laughs> yep. I found a map of water. The um. The chelicere is now coming down from the branches of the tree. And it is over here. Holy okay. shit. Oh, guys, I just remembered that 
I totally said that I was going to go help that lady milk the cow to the max. So I'm going to go see you guys later. Uh huh. All right. I still don't know how that thing was hiding in a tree. It's, Roll huge. Initiative. it's a big tree. It's a big tree. And it has like cloaking um, ability. That was the tree. Yeah, it was the tree. <laughs> Geralt Joel, says, You're dying. Uh, Geralt says, um, Oh, why is he dying? There you go. I fixed you. You're welcome. You owe me your life. Geralt says, as he, as he leaps forward, he says, Like I said, this thing consumes magic. Be careful. All right. If you are in danger, get close to me. Um, he kind of rushes forward, sla- um, pulls out a, um, a silver, um, silver-lined blade, slashes once at the chalicerae, opening up a gash, um, cutting through the sparks of electricity that are, are, are rippling over its body, um, and then he takes his other hand, Focuses it in a, in a, a hand sign, like a, a somatic component, and presses it downward towards the ground, and a bubble of of light um, grows around him, like that. All right. On its turn, the chalicerae charges forward, um, hits the bubble, and finds it can't. Um, it can't get around um, through it, so it skitters off to the side around here, and it, it lashes a couple of uh, claws at you, Zelona. It figures. Oh, it crits you. <laughs> it was nice knowing you all for all of like five seconds. All right. All right. One slash attack at you, and one slash attack at Gwen. Oh, that's the bite attack. So it, it, it does one one claw attack, one bite attack. Um, Gwen, go ahead and roll a. You did that at Salona. Did I? Crap. There. Go ahead and roll a. Constitution saving throw. I will. Oh, I don't have lucky. You're poisoned what? and grappled. All right. Max Dastardly, what do you do? Huh. I know exactly what to do as I slowly back up and get into this bubble. All right. I'm going <laughs> to go. All right. Throw a. Uh, um, you can get in, into my, the bubble. Uh, you can walk into the bubble. Okay, can I throw my uh, little daggers, my attack weapons, pretty much at the arm or whatever is grappling um, Gwen? It's, it's, help it's its teeth. You can try, for sure. Fucking try. Like, take that. Shit. I <laughs> have no bonus action to get one of my things back. Okay. Alrighty, I'm still figuring out what to do because I feel kinda um not that great right now, but Green looks kinda worse. Aha! So, I think I know what I want to do, which is, I want to, um, let's see, maybe, can I, can I, I think, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so I am going to mage hand a vial of antitoxin to, uh, Gwen, uh, after I've opened it and try to pour it in his mouth for the poison. <laughs> you have antitoxin? <laughs> you have antitoxin? 
I, had, I you it's free. Like you mentioned, I, we could get anything from the oh, yeah. from the book. Okay. <laughs> so I got one so, file. All right, you, you have advantage to... on saving throws against poison for the next hour. Alrighty. Okay. And okay. and yes. Yeah, so good luck. Good luck. I'll let you. Take, I'll let you I'll, 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 we'll call that a bonus action since you didn't really put, heal him. Go ahead and do something else. Use your Alrighty. action. Alrighty. Um, in, in which case, I am going to cast Beacon of Hope, as I hope we would all don't die. Oh, that's uh, right. You're a non-combatant. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, magic does caught to this creature, so I'm like, God bless, God bless, I hope we all don't die. Okay. Gwen, you may... Let's see, you are poisoned and grappled right now. So... First thing I would like to do is break this grapple. Okay. So that's your. I gotta do. That's that's. I mean, so to break a grapple is technically your action. Um. Mm -hmm. So either strength, it would be a strength check against its its strength or dex. Athletics or just strength. Uh, athletics. Go ahead and roll. At disadvantage. Ah, Bam, you are, you are still stuck. Trust me. He's gonna do worse. Okay. Anything else? For my bonus action, I will. Um... Now, would he get any bonus when he's trying to hit the face of that guy? Um, how much damage did you do? Uh, twenty. You twenty damage to its face. How did you do twenty damage to its face? How do you have plus oh, sixteen? I'm a sh fucking sharpshooter. Really? That's your ability. <laughs> Yeah, it makes literally makes no sense with this character. It's not Wait. a good viable character. You're a range fighter. A range. Yeah, I'm, th I'm throwing darts. How do you have so a plus sixteen got... to the damage? Because I get the plus ten because I have a minus ten to hit, plus a plus one for the uh, magic thing, and then uh, my oh next oh oh yeah, the sharpshooter feet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. All right. I guess I didn't even look at how you built your character. Oh, it's not good. And for my action, I mean, for my... Uh, is Lay on Hands bonus? No. Uh, I think it's a free action. I'm... Double check. I'm quite sure it's an action, but I got you. I got you as long as you don't die the next turn. Yeah, it's an action. No, never mind. Um, I'm all set. Okay. At the end of your turn, whenever you're done, uh, roll a constitution saving throw with advantage. Does it cancel out with the poison? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oops. Uh, That's fine, it's I, fine. Uh, I, I think, I don't think poison gives you disadvantage on saves. I think it's just attacks and checks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, there's some, like, ability and attack and things. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you save. So you are no longer poisoned, which is good for you, because if you had failed that, it would have been gnarly. But you're still grappled. Suck my dick. Chell of whatever you are. All right, Geralt's turn. Um, he's going to. He shouts out to you. They don't like fire. And then he's going to slash it a couple times with his sword. What do I look like, Elwin? <laughs> he's just giving you. He's just giving you tips, pro tips. Pro tip, they don't like fire. So he slashes a couple times. There you go. Alright. Chalicerae's turn. It is going to... You see it's... It's crackling, glowing body. So it has the corpse of... Of the mage, and also it has Gwen caught in its mandibles. It is going to... It, um, it's, its body crackles a little bit more, and a bolt of lightning comes flying out from its form. Where's my lightning? Uh, 
just like that. Ripping through the middle of the party like that. Okay? So, a couple things happen. One is Gwen. You can feel... You can feel... That as being being grappled and caught in its mandibles, it's drawing the energy to cast this lightning bolt from you. So you lose a first level spell slot. I already checked it off. And right. inside the bubble, you guys have to make the um the the light the lightning check. Let me just see what its DC is. Your dex. Yeah, it'd be a dexterity saving throw. You're rolling like me. Oh no, I didn't see this coming. Yes, Gerald. Oh wait, you're paladin, right? No, you don't get the. You don't give a fuck with yet. <laughs> you're rolling like me. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice knowing y'all. It's eleven. It's a. It's it's a. Oh, it's a. It's DC thirteen, but you all fail. I gave it by the um, Gwen, the you don't. Uh, Gwen, you don't get hit by it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did eighteen work? What, why do you? Why are you rolling an extra four and a three? No, 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 the the favorite by the gods. Um, right, so your your saving throw is a thirteen. Is an eighteen? After favored by the gods, which now I can't use until another long rest. Oh god. Right, yes, I'm so safe. you save. You save. I okay. pretend I jump in the way. I'm like, don't worry. I'll protect you guys. Because a real hero would do that. It's okay, so the, the damage. The damage is this. Um, but don't take the damage. Because that is cut in half from Geralt's shield. And Damn. then, um, Zelona, you, take a, you cut that in half again. So I take the half? Yeah, you take half. Cool. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, so that's its turn. Max Dastardly. Uh, so he's uh, my good old buddy there. He's still grappled, right? Mm hmm. Alright, I'm gonna chuck, uh, well, ch chuck the two daggers at his face real quick. Do it to the max. I'm just so not happy right now. Ooh. Well, then I'm gonna run up. And then I flick my hair to the left, then to the right. And I activate my danger mode. And with the axe and surge, I'm gonna try to help my buddy get out of these jaws. Okay. And that's for my help check. Alright. Because I'm weak. Bonus action to get one of my things back, but yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's me. Zelona. Alrighty. And so at this point, um, so is, is, um, let me just take a look here. Is Max Dastardly holding on to Gwen at this point? Yes. I would like to levitate Max Dastardly if he doesn't uh, resist so that he can be lifted up 20 feet. Hopefully, holding Gwen so they get both get lifted up twenty feet. So Gwen is still Gwen is still grappled. Oh, He's, okay, right so now, Max Dashley is trying to pry Gwen out of its arms. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm just going to be like, uh, Charles, can you move your bubble thing here, please, please? As I run over, and I'm going to do the help action to Gwen as I healing word him. Um, so here you go, and that is a max. It it goes max of nine. So, uh, nine hit points uh, to you, Gwen, because of... Speaking of hope, I have so much hope in this situation, right? So you get nine hit points. Oh, I think I can do that, right? I can click the plus minus thing. I got it. Okay, thank you! Alrighty. And I'm, I'm doing the help action, so you have advantage when you try and Get out of his get out of his mouth. Those words were healing to the max. Okay. So, so dastardly of you. Have any of you guys played the Witcher games at all? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay, so, no. Okay. So you guys know. So this is his. Because <laughs> I love Witcher. This is his his Quen sign, um, and he has signs uh, according to all of them. So just so you know. 
go on. Go in. Well, um, since I got my buddies helping me out, I'm going to try to um, get out of the grapple. Okay. Roll it. <laughs> Was that with advantage? I'm giving you advantage. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm helping you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Should be, that should be at least an additional. All right, all right, all right, all right. right. I'll you. let you add Max Dashley's roll to you. So <laughs> that's what he's helping. He's right there helping. We'll take right. whatever we can get. Have all right, all right. Roll. You, you pry <laughs> him out. You guys pry that's him out. Big fucking spider. It takes all three of us to get him out. Oh my god. And then I will. Use my movement to push Max back into the bubble, and I'll take his place because that's as far as my movement will let me go. <laughs> Wait, that was the most heroic thing I've ever seen. Yeah, right. Max. I see as I'm out of the bubble. Okay. Wait, put that goddamn bubble. <laughs> he drops. He Bro, drops the bubble. That fucking bubble. Oh he, shit. He casts Axie. On the chelicerae. It fails. Um, the chelicerae is now stunned for one turn. Max, that's really your turn. I see that we scared it, guys. <laughs> now we're gonna throw some daggers into it. He also never stands still, so he runs around that way. <laughs> oh, oh, he got lucky on that one. But, oh wait, there's a shiny rock right over here. Salona? I am going to take a moment to pull out bandages and heal myself for 15. Thanks to healer kit, as I'm like, this is a really bad situation, guys, and I go like mummy style, like rap. You really made a character that does no has no fighting value. <laughs> Indeed, yes. And I'm like, <laughs> I believe in you, Green, and and you know, take my last purple spell slot as I healing for you again for nine healing, and so you are fully healed. As I ignore Max dastardly. <laughs> So okay. you can put that on your own character. Great. <laughs> and I am going to like sidestep this way, going, I believe in you, because I'm still within range of that reach of that of that giant thing, right? So done. Alright, Gwen, your turn. Okay, bonus action. I am going to declare this motherfucker. I'm gonna vow that he's my enemy. Mm -hmm. I forgot what that did. He gives you advantage, right? Add three to you. You should be fully healed, damn it. Are you a vengeance paladin? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it gives you advantage on all attacks. Okay. So I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna pull out Balinar, <laughs> and I'm gonna say this is for Balinar, the greatest paladin ever. I'm gonna swing. Yes. That's my turn. You only have one attack? Oh no, that's right, level five. I'm gonna swing again. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure paladins get extra attack at level five. Oh! Uh, yeah. Shit! <laughs> that's my <All> turn. Right. <laughs> Geralt turns to you guys and says, Is that really all you guys can do? <laughs> Whoa. First off, look at this rock I found. There's a seashell. Engraved into it. Do you have something that's 500 pounds that I can levitate? I mean, pacifism goes as far as dropping things. Wait, you're okay with dropping things on it, but you won't, um. I mean, it's, it's not me killing it, nature. it's just, you know, gravity. <laughs> Talk to the insurance companies, act of God. <laughs> he casts Igni at it. Welcome. We set up the distraction, Jerome. It's your time to finish it off. <laughs> Alright. 
so that's um, so it's vulnerable to fire. So, oops, there. All right, the chalicerate on its turn is no longer stunned. It is going to uh, rush forward. Oh, uh, I guess I guess Gawain is right in front of it, so it's gonna attack you, Gawain. Here comes a bite attack. Go ahead and roll a Constitution saving throw. You're immune from poison, but this is for grapple. Con save? Yes, no. I will roll it for you. you fail. It charges. Sorry, I just came back. I was getting but some more whiskey. But Andy doesn't it last an hour? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me roll the second advantage one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope, you fell. It's going to charge you roll it for me. <laughs> the third one. <laughs> It's gonna charge forward, it's gonna target um, Max Dastardly. And let's see, it did one it did one bite, it's, here comes the claw attacks. What is this? That's a lot uh, of claws. Whew, that's a lot of claws. <laughs> is that? That's me resetting my rolls. <laughs> I, <was saying, laughs> I was gonna say, is that a macro from Elwyn? <laughs> <laughs> It raises two of its eight claws. I'm slashing at you twice, Max Dastardly. Bet you can't do it with just one claw. Ugh. Okay. And then it's going to carry Elwyn off in this direction. Um, Zalona, you can get Attack of Opportunity if you want. It's running I... from the fire. I slap it with my hand, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, okay, in a bit of desperation, can I throw my bag at it? Uh, what's your bag? My bag, my backpack. Sure. Okay, it has 11 alchemist fires in it. What does it do? <laughs> it does? Yeah. <laughs> I, bought, I bought like a spyglass. I bought <laughs> a magnifying glass. Wait, it has 11 20... alchemist fires in it? You don't have to go buy anything on the whole thing. No, it's so fine, it's fine, it's just... Like... You realize like I'm in its mouth. I'll <laughs> <laughs> be fine, I can take it back. After Alchemist casting, Fire. After throwing the Let's Alchemist see. Fire, I'll, do, I'll heal you. Make a range attack against a creature or object tree. The Alchemist Fire is an improvised weapon. On a hit, the target takes 1d4 fire, fire damage at the start of each of its turns. Okay, um, so make an attack roll against it. Range attack roll. Oh, this is good. My dex is better. Shut right, you hit. Off. Uh, you First barely hit, but the 16 is its AC. You just make its AC. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I have a plus one to dexterity. All right. So, <laughs> so 11. So roll 11 d4. Actually, no, no, no. On its turn. On its turn. You roll 11 d4. All right. Wayne, you see a backpack flying through the air towards you and the creature. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to get out of its mouth. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you still have advantage? Uh, Andy talks good, right? No, no, no. But that's only for four points then, I think. Yeah, this yeah. is... Oh, no, so it's a disadvantage. No, you're not poisoned anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then 15. 15 is one short. <laughs> Wait a minute. I would like to Divine Smite that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess I'm stuck in its mouth. The girl <laughs> is gonna, um... He's just gonna run up. He's gonna bubble you guys. Because I was gonna have him like, um, Ard telekinetic blast you out of there, but I want to see this hit. So, <laughs> all right, 
All right, Chilis Ray. On its turn, the the Alchemist Fire Bat Parcel hits. So roll eleven d four. That is double. Seventy one. Oh yay! <laughs> Forty six. Because it is vulnerable. The Chilis Ray burns up in a scream of flame and fire. Um, you take twenty three damage, Gwen. Alrighty, I'm at 42. Okay. Um, so the Chalicerae is now screeching and flailing in the flames. It is... Um, you see it tossing back and forth, and, and it, in its death throes, it hurls Gwen out over there somewhere. And then it flops over a charred, burnt, crisped spider. My spyglass! That was 1,000 gold! So everything that was inside the bag... God! <laughs> is I burnt up. I only have one healer kit in my hand right now. Everything's gone. I'm gonna delete everything. <laughs> <laughs> God! <laughs> but it was worth it. Alright. What do you guys do? Geralt, you're welcome. Geralt, we did it for you. Steps over. I heal myself for 25 with my lay on hands. He art blasts the fire um, out. Uh, a big telekinetic whoosh goes out, and the fire just blasts away. He steps in. He pulls out his sword, and he stabs it into the core of the creature, ripping it, ripping its torso open, and pulls out a smoldering heart of the creature, and he sticks it in his backpack. Or in his, his side back. Uh, he turns back oh. to you guys and says... He looks at you, Zelona. He says, Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm broke! He's, at least one of you has a brain. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I pull out the, the my bandages from my last room in a helicopter and start mummying up Coid and Max Duster to me. <laughs> he, whistles, he whistles and his horse comes trotting up next to him he he mounts it and says um, he says um, have you been have you been to Heath Glen that's the town that you guys came from You can miss it, it's right that direction. He says, hmm. Well, perhaps our paths will cross again. Then he, he um, he kind of spurs Roach on, and they gallop off towards the bridge. Well, <clears throat> I can definitely tell that he's a fan of ours, guys. Yep, yep. Great, I knew you'd survive. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me today, guys. My legs aren't working. My peck isn't working. <laughs> My arms aren't working. Maybe you should have asked him before he left. I mean, he seemed to be of a particular girth in many ways. You know, you should have just, you know, asked him for advice in that regard. You know? What are you what are you talking about? I'm I'm girthy enough. Yeah, we're huge. It just doesn't go up. I mean, him being a so much over his age, he probably had some tricks to like keep it up longer, or, you know, over his his years of youth, etc. So he wouldn't encounter issues like yours. <laughs> I'm, just <saying. laughs> I'm just waiting to hit my growth spurt. I was told that it was gonna get bigger when I hit puberty. It hasn't happened yet, but I think I'm just about to hit puberty. I mean, I'm mine. Like, in my late 20s. Does he have any <laughs> point now? Mine's just too big. There's not enough blood in my body to power it up. Mine's too Black. small. Every time it happens, I understand. You pass out every time. <laughs> <laughs> like that in a pill. <laughs> Alright. Um, you guys, uh, what do you do? You want to search the body? Yes. Okay. The corpse, so, the mage thingy, that corpse as well, yeah. the fingers. And... Okay, so the, and so we the mage proof that we killed it because the mage like had two items on him important. that are salvageable. Well, here, um, 
Yeah, go ahead and roll. Wait, what, what's the survival check for? The, the, the corpse of the spider, and okay. see if we can cut off the limb. Okay, so the mage has several items on it. One, there's a ring. There's also. Does it give you 19 dexterity? A. There is a wand. Where's the wand? Of 19 dexterity? Mm-hmm. No, that is definitely not in there. <laughs> <laughs> but he was wearing boots. Boots of something else, right? Of 30 feet movement. There's a wand. <laughs> and there is... Each of you guys can roll on... Let's see, let's see. Um, each of you roll a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Roll a d10. Uh, 10. Ooh, okay. Gwen, roll on this table. That's what you get. You can add it to your pack. Um, Max Dashley, roll on this table. Twenty-two. What's a twenty-two? It's this. You'll never find me. No more alimony, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, how come that item is not linking? Can I do that? There you go. Okay, and then. Zelona, roll on this table. Dex, baby, Dex. I'll mm. <laughs> slow you down further. I'm like, um, 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 Gwen, Max, is this something y'all could put on? Kind of I surely can't. It doesn't give you a resistance type? I don't see any. How am I supposed to know what kind of resistance it has? I don't know. Shall you want me to roll again? I'm yeah, roll again. Roll. roll again. There. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I look towards my companion, companions and like jazzy hands. Y'all want? Y'all want? It won't affect your, your speed. <laughs> Sorry, Quaid. Oh wait, it might be... No, no, it's... Oh my god, legendary. <laughs> Ooh. Crystal ball, a mind reading? Telepathy, That's okay, true everything seeing. like... Secret, want of secrets, amulet of proof against detection and location. And I'm like, oh my god, this guy's a seer. No, no crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> what does this thing do? Uh, the crystal ball, mind reading. I guess you choose which kind of crystal ball it was. So one is scrying, one is a legendary version. Which one's the legendary version? True seeing? That's too confusing. All right, uh, you have the armor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you guys want to do? I want to uh, see how y'all look in the breastplate plus two, because you're going to have an impromptu Give it to Max Dashley. Dashley is wearing a breastplate anyway. No, I actually got plate armor on. I think. I got plate. I have on. Yeah, it was just plate, straight plate. Uh, let's see what I got. Yeah, I think I got a straight plate. I mean, yeah. I'll take the press plate, but the press plate will give me the exact same as. <laughs> <laughs> At least you get a dex bonus. <laughs> I, get the oh, dex, yeah. I get the dex bonus, but it equals the same as plate. Wait, so Max is so is wearing a plate and Max is wearing plate, so who the heck's gonna wear breastplate? Oh god. We can <sighs> sell this, I'm sure. Alright. In a well, in a broken I mean You're the only one that has breasts. Shut up, it's not that kind of breastplate. I'll take it so I can You have like... boobs. But I don't know. 
You can, yeah. It's it's magical. It's very shiny and spiffy. I mean, you're our face of the group, right? Uh, who, are, who are you again? Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, you're the face of the group. You're not known for your brains. Go, go. So, where? so, so who took who took the ring and who took the... Um, oh, we can use a party tab. I haven't used a party tab in forever. Who took the ring? Who took the... Wand? I don't think we took anything. Yeah, no Here. one took any of that stuff. I'm putting it in the party tab, because I can. What is a party tab? Remember when that was a thing? Holy cow, there's stuff in here that was like from a long time ago. Remember we used to use this? Yeah. What is back, party back, when, back when we were, when you guys were, um, what do you call it? Non level 20, and when you cared about gear and stuff <laughs> <laughs> and money. Remember when you cared about gold? <laughs> Man, gold sounds nice. I'm just saying, post level 20, you guys are much more um, like demigod level. Okay. So, do you get, did you guys get all the items that I, I rolled to you off the magic tables? Uh, the breastplate plus two was not in there. Uh, I'll just drag it from the chat. Yeah, put it in your. Just drag it from the chat. Okay, so. You're going to have to identify this stuff. In the party sheet, you have the items. So, I'll ID them. Oh, the weirdest thing happened. That ring? <laughs> I don't know why I have it. Gwen, this is going to be our thing. <laughs> Alright, so it's in the party chat. Party sheet. Um, if you want it, you can drag it straight to your character sheet from the party sheet. Are we selling the breastplate because no one wants to wear it? Really? Max, you would look amazing in this. You're totally the face of the group. Wear it. I wear it, but I'm only gonna wear it if you do me a favor later. <laughs> sure. What favor? <laughs> You'll find out. Okay, <laughs> fine. What else? Okay, say no. Sure. I'll say never. Okay. All right. So, in the party chat, you have a ring of x-ray vision and a wand of secrets. You guys can take it if you want it. Hey, Midas, can you boot me from the game so I can reconnect? You disconnected just now, so you should be able to. Ah, there we go. Do you want x-ray vision to look at certain grandma's tidy whities Oh. Can you add that breastplate to whatever the thing? I can't pull yeah. it because I think it goes on the table. There you go. Did I... Where did I get that picture of? Oh, that slate, at least. Alright. I like this wand, because I feel like I can use it as an arcane hook. You can, Wait, can you... I look at naked girls with this ring? Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. First off, Gwen. Of course. That's exactly what we're going to do. And I stare you directly in the eyes. I'm like, that's the only reason this ring was made. I look at the ring, and it's got, like, the command word inscribed in the inside of it. And it's called Pornhub. accurate <laughs> <laughs> for the ring, yeah, I'm sure. Remember, you had to tune to it, so only one person can use it at a time. All right, Queen. Roll for it, people. And it's by roll, I mean... You can take it. But if you find something really good, I, I get to use it. After one hour nap? Yeah, sure. Speaking of nap, should we just, you know, take a break over Hello? here? Because we're tired. Take a nap. What are you doing? Queen, check it out. Max. Yeah. I think you should take it. Are you sure? Yeah. But this is torture for us. Because we can look, but we can never just get it up. 
<laughs> it's an evil sick game they're playing out of. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is a terrible version. What type of sick hell are we in? <laughs> you should totally have it. Yes, exactly. See? For Elwyn's sake, just take it, man. <laughs> All right. But if I find something good, I'm going to give it right back to you. And we can look at it together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys want to do? Didn't we have to be somewhere before night fell? Oh, what time is it? It's 5pm, yeah. Wait, guys. Oh, the cow! We would go to dress up as cows! Or a, can we take cow. anything off of this spider? To enhance our cow oh. costume. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Yes. Oh, the spider. I forgot the spider. Spider cow. Hold on. The spider, spider, spider. Oh, never mind. So the way things work in this in this world, in the Witcher world, when you kill a powerful monster, you can take a part of its body as a trophy, right? And each of you can wear one trophy, and you get a bonus for wearing it. However, Geralt took the trophy. That was the heart. What? Oh, that dick. motherfucker. We did all the work. <laughs> all he did was sit in a bubble. That what dick. an asshole. That was definitely not dastardly. Or smart. But. <laughs> Man, what would he have done without us? So basically, he made us fight all of that so that he could get the heart and we got squat. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean. What, what are these? Just. He was not raised right. That's the best way to say it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's show him what's what. Let's go be a cow. Let's be a cow. <laughs> Let's All right, what make are you guys bombs doing? and cows and poisons and traps. What y'all doing? We're becoming cows or a cow. I'm gonna get back on Adis. <laughs> and are we going back to the to the cow? Well, we got a little bit of Do you think we we have to portion cow suits? And then... Yeah, how are you making cow suits? Oh, easy. We kill more cows. Hey, Max. Remember yeah, that so... one time in our history books when I was yeah. teaching you? Yeah. That one time that Elwin and Deimos dressed up like demons? Oh, yeah. They dressed up like zombies. They lived inside oh, the yeah. zombie. Yes, yes, yes. We got to employ that tactic. This is an amazing tactic. Where are the dead cows at? Um, you guys are about a, a mile and a half outside of town. Or did I say, or maybe two miles outside of town. What do cows cost? Cows, though, they're pretty expensive. Really? Are they? Yeah. Someone has to have a taxi to move cow around, right? You're gonna try to. You remember it? A cow is about 50 gold pieces. Oh. Well, I have zero. <laughs> <laughs> Ten gold pieces. I look at my spyglass that's in, like, smoldering heap of ruins, and I'm like, we had 1,000. <laughs> I do have a potion of supreme healing. I have Ooh. this packed weapon here of plus one. Oh, we, need two of them. we need to go to and the mirrors, and I need to use this wand <laughs> to find the secrets, and then we blackmail him. Why don't we just use the spell, summon Adis's mom, the one that Elwyn Very good. made when he okay. became a god. Can we make a ritual to summon Adis's mother? No, <laughs> there's no such thing. Oh, no? Are you sure about that? Oh, okay. I thought it was worth it. Are you sure about that? <laughs> She's worth like 50 cows. <laughs> I, I tie you all to one of the cows. Like, each of y'all gets tied to a different cow. So that. Alright, there's only one way to do this. Where's the makeup artist in this town? Because we're going to have to get painted up like cows. Or, or camouflage onto a cow. So, well, let's let's head over to the farm. <laughs> Alright. 
Alright, so you're heading back to the farm. Um, fortunately, you still have the horse, so it doesn't take you, like, six hours to get there. Well, <laughs> right, like the wind, Adis. Well, Gwen, right, like the wind. Gwen hobbles his way. Um, it only takes you... Uh, 40 minutes. Uh, I All looked right. up male cows dress up. Don't do that. <laughs> Jeez. That's a bad idea. My I have point. a legit question. Yes. Do you guys know if paladins can change their spells like clerics, or am I stuck? I'm uh, stuck. <laughs> this, this is a brand new world. Maybe it's a brand new world. Are they stuck? I would like to um, argue that I would have taken fine steed if I'm a cripple. <laughs> no, you got crippled by the bullets. <laughs> yes, oh, right. okay, okay. <laughs> If you leveled up, you get your fine steed now. To your time for like a short rest I on think, the way back as we're yeah, like trying to get plus that the giant has spider surely we leveled. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Where's where's the paladin spell casting? I'm trying to find this freaking thing like... doesn't That's what what'd you say? No, I was going to say, like, they had, like, ten spells total in their list. Spellcasting. Um... Oh, you can choose. You prepare any. Oh, good. You can change it after a long rest. <laughs> Night is so far away. Yeah, you can change yeah, after a long you rest. You can change after a Okay, cool. Okay. What do you guys want to do? You're, so you head back to the farm. Um, people in the town are... There's you know, a fair bit of rumors going around. Um, um, they're talking back and forth. As you guys enter town, several of them give you sideways glances and whisper towards each other. They're kind of avoiding you. You pass through the center of town and head over to Yalls' farm. You see Farmer Yalls and his and his wife just kind of finishing up their, their evening meal. Um, nothing extravagant. A few boiled potatoes um, with scraps of, like, carrot and that kind of stuff. I'm going to say, excuse me, good madam. So you're talking to the wife? Yeah. She's, he is? Um, I have a really quick question. Around what time at night do the things usually happen? She says, Far after nightfall, around when the moon is highest in the sky. Good, good. Do I know what time the full moon is highest uh, or the moon is? 1 or 2 a.m. All right. And you said it's like 5, right? It's It's closer to 6 now. Guys. We should take a long rest right now. Yes. Okay. Oh Damn. yeah, six. Six. <laughs> we uh. It takes eight hours. Take a nap in your quarters. And by quarters, we mean bedroom. Jesus. Where's Eat. your? You all sullied my bed last night, didn't you? I don't remember. Yeah, you. But you, if I you... did. Was it dastardly? <laughs> he says, There's room in the barn for ya. You know what else happened in the barn, I bet? What was that one lady's name? I Lula? Just... Lula. Who's that Lula? I shudder. <laughs> I just don't feel safe. I've heard so many things about That's Lula's in the barn. She says, Lula! She gets up and she she picks up her her rolling pin and she swings it at at Yalza's head. He takes a crack on the side of his head, rolls out of his chair, and um and goes dashing out out the front door. And she goes chasing him. Well, it looks like the main room's free again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you guys getting a long rest? Indeed. Um, Um, so it's 6 p.m. You guys rest, so it's eight hours. What are your race? What races are you? 
I human. will actually sleep near the cow thingy, so I'll sleep out, you know, like, with the sky above head, just to keep an eye on those cows. Okay. And I'll message if something happens, so people... Okay, so it still takes you eight hours to get a long, a long rest. I mean, you're just awake for it, for the f second four hours, Zelona. Gwen and Max Dashley, you guys collapse into your into the bed together, and get your long rest. I ponder and I think that you know this might be how Demos ended up, you know, stuck with that group because Demos seems like the innocent, while Elwyn probably dragged him in together, just like you know Gwen and Max are doing now. Hmm. Um, Zalona, around 1 o'clock, you're still resting. You still need another uh, hour. I mean, you start hearing things. I mean, you're out of your trance, but you're still kicked back. If you move, if you if you get up and try to intervene now, um, you won't get all the benefits of a long rest. And also, Gwen and Max Dastardly are still inside sleeping. The You see reddish light and Gra and dark, low, rumbling growls come from the the wood, the tree line on the other side of the fields. There are only a few animals left, a, f a couple cows, a handful of sheep. You c you set your keen elf senses over in that direction, just watching, watching, and in the middle of the darkness, you can see a hint, a two hints of red light, reddish light, moving out from the, the, the blackness. You see two of these creatures. They're very large, much greater, much bigger than they were as pups just a few weeks ago, having gorged themselves on um, the, the bodies of a couple dozen farm animals. They've grown massive in size, each of them easily larger than a, a pack horse. Um, at the shoulder, they're they're taller than you, Zelona. Alrighty. So they stalk through the woods, through the field, um, and then break out, snarling and sn and snatching each of them. Um, and don't be trying to like message, um, Elwin. I mean, sorry, uh, Gwen and Max. Like, mm -hmm. just message. I'm like, guys, guys. They're guys, still sleeping. Guys. You guys had another ha have another have about another, call it. So in my head, I'm going, you assholes, wake up! Stop yeah, about twenty each minutes other. more of long rest. <laughs> These hounds come in, tear apart a couple of sheep, um, gorging themselves on their flesh. Then one of them swoop, um, charges in, full on picks up a cow, like these these large. Um, large muscular necks grab the cow lift it off the ground and drag it um, screeching and, and kicking into the woods I sigh <laughs> I turn around like I turn from my like I'm sleeping on my back I turn to my side and I fart <laughs> I, I uh, sleep. Um, <clears throat> slip over and I, I fall off the bed and I don't know why it smells really bad, but I think it was me. I hope uh, Wayne doesn't notice I farted in the bed. Okay. Ten more, 15 more minutes go by, 10, 15 more minutes go by, and you guys wake up from your long rest. And then y'all you you hear me going, like, cursing, like, guys, you fuckers, wake the fuck up! <laughs> what is the point of me keeping one? Oh. We're here. Yeah, sure. the animals are gone. I fought away all the demons in the sleep realm. They didn't even yes. see it coming. I helped. He did. We hit him with the nauseous gas cloud. I grabbed uh -huh. Alinar. And I said, let's go. Why are you just standing here, Zelona? Zelona, hurry up. Let's go. <laughs> you have things to do. You are here to watch. Okay. What are you guys doing? Um, so are the things gone now? Or... Yeah, they, they, it was about 15 minutes ago I they dragged the cow off the into the woods. 
Like, there's a very much a line going into the woods, and I point towards it. All right, good. We should slowly hobble towards that location. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Well, what if we got all the, you know, all the cool, like, villagers and stuff, and then we all teamed up on this thing? No, no, no. traps for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, like... Is that a new, like, animal you're riding, um, Gwen? I mean, it doesn't look like a horse anymore. Did you prefer a new spell? Did you get fine speed? Did you? Oh, don't know where Owen went. Are you guys tracking the, the animals into the woods, or are you going to hang back and Make a plan. Oh, I'm totally tracking because I'm like, ah, oh, oh. so in the in the most maximum way. Are you sure that this is what you want to do? Because the woods are scary and there's things in there. The night is long and full of terrors. Yes, yes, I've heard it before. I read the whole campaign. Now, how big were these things, and do you think they will tear us apart? Yes. Yes. Oh, all right. I stubbed my toe in my sleep. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to join you. I wish I could, but, you know, I'm just wounded and I don't want to slow you down. Sure, Max Dastardly. We'll keep that in mind for the next promotion campaign. Well, I'm just Max saying. Max <laughs> no. I'm, I'm so in. These things don't stand a chance. I can fight through this even with my severely stubbed toe. Just Correct. make sure they know that. Guys, give me ten minutes. I'm gonna cast <laughs> Find Speed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna call Adis the Mastiff. <laughs> Not Adis, Mom. I'm disappointed. Okay. No, we need we need Adis the Mastiff. So you can right. a direwolf. No, it's a Mastiff. It's a mastiff. It's a little, little, little mastiff. Okay, God. Oh, God. It's still a dog. It should be able to sniff those fuckers out. All right. So, are you sending your fine steed into the woods to track them? Well, I'm on it. Oh, you're riding it. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I send them over there, then it's gonna take me like five hours to get. All right, to roll. Them. Roll. <laughs> roll. Um. Okay. So over the course of the next half an hour, Wait, you guys you go into the woods. Thing? Because it's that's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a large mastiff. The okay. um... <laughs> I mean, it's in the spell. A warhorse, okay. pony, camel, elk, or mastiff. Oh my gosh! I think those are meant for like you know gnomes or, or like little creatures. But great! Okay, I'm just I put a very funny visual in my head. It's all mastiff. Oh it's a medium beast. <laughs> Preemptively get that out of me. <laughs> well, have you seen like an owner of a mastiff trying to walk it? It's like always pull, like dragging him almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, but with Glenn's you, lower half is very frail and small, so he so, might as well equal half. So, Owen, so you are also a medium creature. So, riding on your mastiff, um, the mastiff will move at half movement speed. <laughs> It's still five more feet than me. <laughs> so you you get an increase of five movement speed while mounted. <laughs> Just like I planned. Joke's on you. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> okay. So um, with the Mastiff, it has advantage on perception checks involving smell. So it also has a wisdom of plus one modifier. What's your what's your wisdom modifier? Plus two. Okay, so I'll let you roll your survival check using your master's advantage. Um, roll three. Um, I guess they'll be survival checks. Three survival checks in a row with advantage. Ooh. Ooh. I'm using up all my good rock. Oh, <laughs> there they all are. <laughs> Goodbye. And the lowest number you dropped was a 13. <laughs> There's all the good rolls. Okay, so your Mastiff is part of the combat tracker now. Um, 
get a little move on your initiative. You guys hunt the creatures through the woods. Uh, with the, your Mastiff leading you, it's not a difficult process at all. Walking through the darkness of the of the tree line, you you have a sense of foreboding. This is a, an unnatural occurrence. You're not sure where these monsters came from or why they've sprung out. But you guys can tell that chaos and darkness and the the ever declining state of nature as gods are dying and losing control of their portfolios is just having all kinds of negative effects across the material planes. There's no moon in the sky. It's dark It's dark blackness where the moon should be. So it's very dim. All you have are, are, are starlight. The the Mastiff is able to to track through this darkness, however, and you come upon a um, it, it stops as you face the empty the, the large opening of like a cave. Um, it's still about you know thirty feet off. You're not you're not really up against the entrance of the cave, but it's you know it's big enough to fit. You guys walking, uh, standing straight up. Uh, uh, all three of you side by side. It's a fairly large cave opening. The Mastiff growls in that direction. You can see bones and carcasses of animals chewed and broken, all all littering the entrance of the cave. Good boy, Hades. It growls at you. What do you guys want to do? We found it. Now, I think in town, they had this bar. <laughs> Go to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we yes. gotta finish this to the map. You're right. That's exactly what I meant to say. I'm gonna That's take out, I'm gonna unsheath Balinar whoosh, while riding on my Adis dog. <laughs> okay. I have 20 feet of movement, guys. Until Adis dies. Now. Should we have them try to run out to us? Or should we charge in there? How big is the cave entrance? Um. Call it. Call it ten foot high. And. Ten foot wide. I'm gonna sneak up to it. <laughs> uh huh. Aegis, <laughs> let's sneak up. Let's give it some animal egg. All right. So you are. Um, you would be clanking if you were walking. You'd be clanking around, but it's fortunately not your. Check it's it's mass the um, massive check because it's the one walking. So here's its sneak check. Twelve. Okay. So you hobble your way forward um, on your dog. It, it, you, you can you can feel your dog's back just kind of straining under your weight. You're not just a, a man the size of the dog, but you're also a man wearing uh, like plate armor. <laughs> so the dog is is greatly encumbered. That's the way he likes it. But he manages um, to get you to the cave entrance um, from where you can hear uh, a few muffled growls and um, and like uh, the occasional burst of fire. But that's about it. You can see gotcha. sparks of light in there sometimes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look back to the group and I'm going to give like a nod. 100% expecting them to know what to be expect and then I'm gonna roll a can I roll a performance check to um, sound like a hurt like a yeah like a wounded cow I'm gonna go sure go ahead have my daggers ready for a surprise thing and I'm gonna ready Balinar for whatever comes out take a swing at her price and at sneak attack plus divine smite. Alright. 
So with that, with that sound that you just made, <laughs> and I'm not saying that it was necessarily a um, um, a successful check. <laughs> Role play, come on, give me bonus. Let's see here. You can find it at AM. Do I have a cave entrance map? Or just doing a quick, quick Google search? Uh, oh, hey! I'll make a whiskey real quick. I'll be right back. So we'll make it look like, we'll call it that. Okay. So here's you guys. Um, Gawain is near the entrance of the cave. And he makes this growling, um, who are like wounded cow sound. So a few seconds go by because uh, uh, as, as soon as he does that, the snarling and heavy breathing inside the cave just cuts off and stops. Replaced by a low growl as one of these creatures begins to make its way forward in the cave to investigate what's going on. As soon as the hound makes its way forward, let's see here. Gwen, you rolled an 11 performance check. I'll give you a plus 5 bonus because of your actual role playing. So you got a, a 16. The hound is going to roll perception to see if it could tell. Has advantage on hearing or smell. Okay. You do not surprise it. Everybody roll initiative. Okay, back. Um, initiative? Yeah, you did not surprise it. That's what it thinks. Now, did any of us surprise it with our way of actions? Uh, no. <laughs> but as it comes out, as it approaches the entrance right there, Max, you go first. No. No one attacks that cute little puppy there. So I'm gonna stab this ugly looking puppy. So I throw Max Danger and Max Extreme. Oh, that's a cute Mastiff. That's a cute <laughs> Mastiff. And I'm like, <laughs> huh, I don't think I can name it Aidus anymore. I'm gonna go over here and hide like an edgelord. Bonus actually get one of my things back. Yeah, this is the Mastiff. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> it is. Alright, Zalona. You see Max hurl some daggers into this creature. Um, all you basically see, you don't see it fully, you see it's it's like glowing red eyes and mouth. That's basically what you guys see. Alrighty. It, you hear a yelp of pain. What do you do? So wait, where is the crit? It's it's in the thingy. It's in the cave. Yeah. Like we can't see it. You can Aww. see its its eyes. Its eyes and mouth, glowing. Okay. Hmm. 
do we see, do we hear anything behind it or nothing behind? It? You know there are two hounds. You only see the one. Only the one. Okay. Uh, I am going to um, mage hand a, a a rock and wave it in front of its eyes and um, maybe like you know some or maybe kind of like you know some of the bones or something to distract it and that is my help action for for um, Glane and I'm like you go boy you can do this. Save your Aedis Mastiff! Oh my god, you poor thing, you're gonna die. And I'm providing the health action as my action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Mastiff leaps forward towards Gwen. And... It does not have multi-attack, so it's gonna attack once. It misses. You're ready for it, Gawain. You just kind of shh, with your your sword just deflect its attack. What do you do? I strike back with. Actually, I get off of um, Aedis. Okay. And I will cast Hunter's Mark on it. Okay. And I will attack it twice. You have advantage. Take your advantage. Okay. I will take my advantage. Okay. <laughs> Whoa there. <laughs> oh, swing again. That's, that's what you do. That's what you do. I am so upset. Oh my god, you poor thing. Uh, I am I am upset too. Um after I I distract it, I'm gonna tell Adis to run away using your disengage and go next to Max. Okay. The dog is going to do that. Alright, that's it? Yeah, I passed my turn. Alright. Max, your turn. Oh, what's up, dog? Um, you gave away my hiding area. So, I'm gonna run away now. But I'll bonus action move my things back. And while I'm running away over this way, to not hide, but to strategically place myself against the wall where he can't see me, I chuck the two daggers at him. This dog is invincible. <laughs> you guys are rolling terrible. This is Lona, your turn. <laughs> The rolling so terrible, like, oh my god. Okay, so I am going to quicken a spell. Um, so here we go. And I don't even know if this will work, but let's give it. And so the, the, the hound levitates up 20 feet in the air. And then oh. I, I'm going to be like, uh, yes, um, you know, let's just... Hold on, people. Hold on. Please wait. Um, this does not look like a good thing, Mastiff. Come here, boy. Come here. Get out of the way of this huge beast. Yes, yes. Okay, the, way, the hound is way. levitating in the air. Yeah, I'm going to look back to Zelona and say, How did you know I was Mexican? I love piñatas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is an area right here, and I point to this area uh, over here. Let me just draw a circle. Um, you can go really high, like, go up there and then hit it, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take me five <laughs> turns to get there. <laughs> get your dog back. That's my turn. Um, the hound is helpless. It's just snarling and sna and slashing. It really can't do anything. Gawain, you and the Mastiff's turn. Alright, so Aedis is going to... <laughs> I, guess, I guess it would roll constitution check again, right? Who would? Would it? Does it roll? If you levitate it, Zelona, does it roll every turn? No, it's only once. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. there's no save. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Aedis is gonna follow Max, like I told it to. Oh crap! If I had I. You can climb up, man. You can climb up. You're better at that. I'm gonna throw a shock at it. <laughs> oh 
going. Mm. <laughs> and for my movement, <laughs> I'll start climbing up. <laughs> oh so that's five, ten. Can I climb faster than I can walk? I think so. <laughs> roll an athletic, roll an athletics friends. check real quick. I think you could run faster if you just like crawled instead of running. <laughs> oh, yes. you, you can climb at full speed. Oh you get that high. God. He's so speedy. I'm gonna crawl instead of walk now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, as soon as the Mastiff gets to you, Max, it begins to bark and snarl and it circles around to the behind you. As it looks up, and you can see, looking up the edge of the cliff, that the other hellhound had actually circled around. There must have been some other entrance to the cave. It is now up here. And it is going to leap down at the two of you. You're and welcome. You're not surprised, guys. <laughs> the, do the, dog did, the dog did save you from getting surprised. Very oh, good. Thank God. What's up, hellhound 2? Is this all you got? Wait a second, actually, before that hits. Before that hits. Yes? Shabammers! You can't hit me. I'm oh, you have shield? Sparkly. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright, it misses. I have... Your turn. Alright, get my little daggers. And... Step over here. You're stepping away from it? Yeah. Come on, hit me again, bitch. Just um, it's the beginning of your turn, so your shield is gone. I'm gonna stay right there. Oh wait, no. If I throw, if I do range, well, I'm disadvantage. In combat outside yeah. combat, it's still disadvantage, right? Yeah. Worth a shot. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be like, no pain, no gain. Oh fuck. Okay, so uh, <laughs> yes. and then for the second one, I think like just here and hit. Yeah. Look at this big starly hound too. With my bonus action, I'm gonna look at him and give him the love that his mother never gave him. Okay. All right, Zelona, you see this snarling hellish monster right in front of you. I'm gonna go. Good boy. Good boy. I I got your like bro to deal with um first. So um I'll let me put him down first, okay? And so I'm gonna miss you. Step away. <laughs> Okay. How can I misty step like higher? Like is there like a ledge I can like misty step up? Like thirty feet? Like straight up? Like somewhere like if there's a ledge or something in the area above us, um, I'm happy to just be crouched onto sure. an overhanging sure. we'll rock. Put you up there. I do that, and um, I'm going to levitate um, that other dog another twenty feet up. <laughs> What are you doing? No. <laughs> can you can you concentrate both? You with the one on the ground? And yeah, Misty Step is not concentration, it's just bonus action. So I cast Misty Step and I'm still doing the no. the levitate Le I mean. No, levitate is a concentration spell. Yeah. So I can cast um other spells, but I have to concentrate on levitate. So Yeah, so you um Wait, so you, you the first hound is still levitating, right? Can I not cast while ca concentrating on something else? You can. You can. You can missy step, but you can't cast it again. What are you gonna do to the second hound? Oh no, I'm not doing anything to the second hound. Only oh, the okay, first okay. Hound I have levitated on, and I'm levitating it up another four, uh, twenty feet, so it's forty feet up. It's just going, you know, as fast as high as I can go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that they can focus on the other one. All right. So <laughs> no. this one is going higher and higher and higher. All right. So it's like up here now. Yep. All done. The hound, the hellhound one, it can't do anything. Gwen, your turn. Well, shit. <laughs> It'll come back down at some point, or you can crawl over to the other one. It would have passed you on its way up. Did you want to like grab onto it? It was <laughs> on the way up. no. I was 
crawling you, up. up. Yeah, you were 30 feet, feet up. It was no, only 20 no. feet up. I was on the ground floor. You levitated 20 feet up. I crawled up like 10 feet. No, and then it was 20 feet, feet away from me. No, no. And then you put it up another 20 feet. Yeah, so it's way it's out of reach. Feet away from me. <laughs> it's way oh. out of reach. Okay, never mind. It's still going up, yes. Okay. Well, I guess I'll misty step Ooh. over here. And let me take off my thing because the other one is Hunter Smart. This guy isn't. And I'll attack this guy twice. Okay. Thank you, Zelona. You could, <laughs> you could misty step up to it. That second one will definitely hit. And that's my turn. You okay. hit, you finally connected. Oh, um. Aedis is going to run back over here. Okay. It is going to. This one is going to continue to attack Max Dastardly. That's what that I thought. That will be a hit. Hit me. It sinks its teeth into you. Partially absorbed. I had my thing on. My little, uh, the, pretty much the armor of Agathis. The last of an hour I had that when we started searching for these boys. Gotcha. I don't trust that. Alright. So, since it, um, it hit you the first time, it is allowed to use its breath attack. What? It has a breath attack. Shred. To get Ooh. one more hit. One more attack on you. That seems inconvenient. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna take a little nap here. You got a lot of Z's. <laughs> All right, you are. You feel your death saving throw, Zelona. What do you do? I'm healing with my companion as a bonus action as I continue to levitate that one up, uh, the other one up. <laughs> so you higher and higher. Up. higher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And here we go. You, I got you, Max. Don't worry. It'll be fine. All right. Tell him. Go in your turn. Go. I'm gonna slice and dice this motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Where are these hacks you've got? Uh... <laughs> I will smite. On the one? Oh, okay, that one. You burned all your 20s on that, that survival check. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it considered a... It's demonic, I think. Yeah, it, it, it will call it a fey, so, uh, a, a demon, so you can get your extra d8. Okay. I'm new at this paladin thing. So it's 2d8 for a f first level, level spell. Yeah, first level, yeah. So it's 3d8, 3d8, correct? Yep. Okay. Bam, motherfucker. Okay. Welcome to the hurt. You done? And, uh, yeah. All right, it's going to turn its attention to you. I'm a cripple. Don't hurt me. Try to recharge. Does not recharge. Jesus, you hit hard. You think with two of these would be a problem? Oh god. Max Dastardly. I stand up. He thought I was dead. But I'm only bleeding a lot. Take oh this. As I throw it to <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it didn't hit, but the best part about that is, you're out of ammo. It says. Oh, I've I have, I have two, two different weapons. Okay. Good thing they both missed. <laughs> All right. Um, the bonus action, I'll get one back, <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna really, really, really animal handle into this check. As I stare deeply into its eyes, I'm just like, I'm here for you, because. I love you to the max. 
Okay, you're trying to do what? <laughs> I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like make it like more calm. Okay. Uh, Zalona, your turn. Food the savage beast, right? Okay. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm I'm looking at this. I'm like, I believe in you guys. I believe this will work. You know, nothing bad could happen from this, right? Right. Have I been um, healing word going? Because I'm see he's not looking good either. Um, I'm like, this will totally work. Y'all won't die. It'll work no, out well. Do, do max. Do max. I'm not into max, but okay. And and I do that again. Uh, wait, no, I'll do it at, at the second level. So one more d4. Let me just cancel that. We go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And I raise that animal higher. Is it an animal, demon, whatever? So yeah, it's a fiend. 20, 40, 60, 80 feet down. Okay. Once it hits 100 feet, I have to drop it since that's the limit of my range. Alright, Gwen, your turn. Alright, let's do this again. Bellinar, don't fail me again! Ooh. Okay, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna smite again. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this hellhound is starting to look pretty... You know, it's, I mean, it's not... Well, you're the only one who's been hitting it. <laughs> Max has been missing every time. So never mind, it's fine. <laughs> Um, the hound is going to take a bite attack at you, Gwen. They seem to be rolling a lot. Stop rolling the die. I, I can't help it. I, you guys are rolling like shit. I'm rolling really well. I mean, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it recharges. In comes second attack. Holy That's shit! Really bad, <laughs> Max Dastardly, you see your bro your partner collapse out to the ground. What do you do? But I collapsed to the max. <laughs> we collapsed so well. There's only one thing to do in this type of situation. I don't know, but I'm really afraid, honestly. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to, uh step back yes step back yes I'll do that I don't know where this range is and I will throw things at it okay so it gets the attack of opportunity on you misses mm -hmm. Yes, damn! <laughs> Holy shit, they wait, can wait, miss Wait, 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 no, 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 hold on. That was supposed to be a hit. <laughs> Those 17s are both hits. It's supposed to have a 16 oh. AC. What's going on here? Well, Those are both hits. 60. Oh, 16 is too? Yeah. Okay. I'm like, oh no, this dog bought plate armor. He's well off. This supposed to have 16 AC. Oh! So sorry. And I'll put a section, pull one of my things back. And I look really cool as I'm concerned on how that happened. And I look to my friend here. I'm like, I'm sorry that you're sleeping. It's okay. I forgot to tell you. Ada's the Mastiff has the heal spell. <laughs> oh, yes, he does, doesn't he? Oh my yes. god. He actually has true resurrection. I, I, I healing word um what do you call it going as I do this um I lift up the creature hellhound thingamajig twenty more feet and then I let go of that spell and I healing word uh going so here we go you you you're back on your feet it's perfectly fine you have an incoming by the way all right so... back 
So, 100 foot fall, roll 10d6. I mean, I didn't kill it. It's perfectly fine. 10d6. So, four more. Mm -hmm. yep. it, it lands, bam, slams onto the ground. It's really busted up, really hurt. You do anything else? I, I healing worded Gwen, and then I waved at the demonic beast from my perch up that I'm like, I basically treat myself on a rock. So while I can't get down, I don't think it can get to me. So I just wave it. Okay. It is going to pick itself up with half its speed. And it can only move 30, so it gets to here. Snarling. It's, it's like leg is broken. Um, it's got cuts all over it. It's, its head is cracked open. Blood flowing down his face. Gwen, your turn. I'm gonna say, sick him, boy. And Adis is gonna come up and bite him. It's a hit. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna move up to it. I'm gonna say, with Balinor's power, I shall smite the beast. <laughs> we, need okay. free, we need to free Balinor from this. <laughs> that, was awesome. right. that was awesome. Max, it's your turn. Pull another one back, and I say, Gwen, close your eyes. And believe in Balinar. And I throw two daggers to make it seem like Balinar's hit things. <laughs> you guys are really bad heroes. Alright, that hits. <laughs> there you go. That is no, amazing. No. Thank you so much for protecting us. Your fangs are sharp. And your hair is cool. Okay. I missed you step back and bandage both of you guys. <laughs> Why? Oh, stop bandaging me, Mom. I'm totally fine. And now I am out of bandages. <laughs> I need to buy more. Mom, get more bandages. We get beat up a lot. At least you didn't have them in your pack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had two kids in my pack. Those weren't. Okay. You search, um, I mean, the bodies are there on the ground. The hellhound. Let's see what they do they have here. Okay. There is one trophy. Is it, is it dex related? Because they are hellhounds and they're so fast. I look towards Queen. <laughs> has this ability. 8. If Ada's Mastiffs eats their balls, can he get more HP? Does he just get massive balls? He can never be spayed or neutered. That becomes his superpower. I love that Mastiff picture. He's got like little bracers. <laughs> Do we get one trophy from each? So we all can both get something that y'all can teach to like you know, overcompensate on certain aspects, I think. Okay. Um, no, one trophy. This is what you get. <laughs> you get you get you guys can only uh, attune to one trophy each. So I'll put that in your party sheet. I mean since it's a melee attack, we all look at Gwen uh -huh. or or Mastiff. I'm starting to think that we need to like have our characters in the main part of the game come down to this world 
you get some of these trophies. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, pretty fucking good. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So it's in the party sheet. You, one of you guys can take it if you want it. What do you want to do now? I want to pray that um, Gwen stops missing so often. <laughs> <laughs> Me, <that. laughs> Me too. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I'm like, you should really use this fang. Please don't miss again because it's it's based on you being successful at this. So uh, be more like Max. Yeah, be more like me. But please don't miss. I really rely on you because you're beefier. beefier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take it because I'm the only melee guy. Hell yeah. We are. Yeah, okay. that's smart. Uh, I mean, we should probably take like. I don't know, some trophy things, not trophy things, but like from these, like we'll take the heads of these bad boys okay. and carry them into town. I'm okay. going to have uh, Adis yeah, like, smell out the thing and find their treasure. Yeah, I'm sure there's, yeah, there is no treasure. There's no treasure. It was just like a bunch of bones of okay, animals. First off, that's bullshit. We definitely and burning like, piles of shit. That Euphemia sword that she got custom made is definitely in here. Burning piles of, do of dog shit. All right, there was yeah. a red light. Wait, was it is, it, is it burning? Like, continuous flame burning? Because we could, like, use that as a weapon. Or just sell it. Oh. Roll, roll a d20. Alright, I'm doing it. You are, oh god. Yes. <gasps> you have, good. you have, you find... Three pounds of, of um, never, of, of constantly burning dog shit. Alright. I will put them in a uh, empty vial. I have like a couple vials. I will throw them in there. We can prank so many old people with this. This would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, I'm putting this in the party sheet. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I use my wand of secrets in the cave because I run away because of last time she used random things. Wait, wait, wait. So what is this one? Uh, what are you going to do with the wand? The one of secrets. Uh, it's the, the one that shows my secret thing, thingamajig. Did you find that holy Avenger sword for me? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> A secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you. No, there's no secret doors or traps. I rolled my 20. It's an 8. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. Alright, what do you guys want to do? Let's head back to town with our cool flaming shit and these dog heads. Is okay. there, like, okay. identification of some of these corpses on them? Like, like um, this underwear belonged to so-and-so. Like, they stitched their names onto it. I don't know. I mean, so that we could maybe, like, be like, okay, so this guy died, that girl died. Anyone want to bury some, they're, like, you know? They're all animal bones. Oh, okay. So you're bringing the corpse, the, the heads back to town. It takes you, oh, how long did I say? You know, with, with the Mastiff, we'll, we'll call it another 40 minutes. By the time you get back to town, it is about 3 a.m., Everyone is sleeping. All the houses are shut. Uh, the doors are shut. Uh, there's no more lights in the in the town. Um, how do you guys spend the rest of your night? You cannot rest again for another twenty four for twenty four hours. So probably make a bonfire in the middle of the town square and make a ruckus so everyone knows the cool shit we did. Okay, so you there's head back. Will be a town bell. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Hey, um. So now that we have the fresh, um, you know, we took out the hound's heads or whatever, um, they must have been summoned or created or brought here somehow. So now that we have that scent and we have Adis, um, you guys want to take a, a stroll around, like, the whole town, see if we can find some connection to whoever might have summoned these things? Oh, mm, yeah. Sure. Let's do that. When we find a connection, I'll cast detect magic and see if anything pops up once once we finally found something app somewhere. Okay, so you're asking Adis to track. Good boy. The, the good sense? boy. Yes, some guidance. Yes, please. All right. Roll. 
um, your survival checks, Gwen, with advantage because Adis is tracking. So, 16? Sounds like it. Okay. Adis is sniffing around town. It's nighttime. You guys are wide awake since you've already taken your, your rest. Um, trying to track down a source of these creatures. Around, you know, an hour later, um, you ch you check the town. Nothing in town. You you started to 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 circle out towards farmsteads, farms and homesteads, and and you you know he's he's going fairly slowly since he's not a quick moving dog. And um, you're checking barns and various things. You come across um, a barn on, on full on the other side of town. Another barn. Adis kind of walks up to it and like points his head towards the inside. Yeah, sniffing a little bit. Dying. And he kinda of, he looks up at you, Gwen, and um and, and and like points in that direction inside the barn. What do you guys do? Guys. The Aedis is pointed towards that barn. Do we know uh, which homestead is, this is? Have we met any of these people that uh, live here? Not in this one, no. This is what, full on the other side of town. Let's go in. I'm like the way, like traveling back here, do we have time for like a short rest? Like as we're like, just like we're walking back? Mm. Half a short rest? Sure, sure, you can, you can work it in. Go ahead. <laughs> Get those heels in. Ooh, look at these rolls. I'm right? What the hell? These <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are better than our normal fucking rolls. <laughs> You outroll yourself with your D twenty rolls with your D your D ten. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. You head in there and you see you hear you see a little bit of light flickering in the corner. Uh, um and you hear a low whimpering mu um, like muzzled growling kinda kinda sound. You 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 round the corner and you see a dog um, on its side. Fairly large dog, but um, not a um, not nothing on the size of the hellhounds. Um, and it's a it's a pregnant female dog, just whimpering. You can hear it. it it's it's breathing, hurried, and it yelps of pain, and as as it's obviously in labor. All right, uh, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna uh, hobble up to it, and okay. I will spend five lay on hand points to try to cure it of any disease or poison or whatever the thing. What I can cure with five points. Okay. As you're doing that, roll a. Um, Zalona, no, no ritual circle, nothing like that. You're, it's, there's definitely magic here, but it's a very raw and wild kind of magic. Oh, okay. Um, Gwen, roll a. Let's see. Roll religion check. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. 
What the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> this is the worst paladin. <laughs> yes. We're all clueless. We all don't know what's Ooh. going on. Sorry. You put your hands on the dog. Um, you heal it. And you try to to, to purge any kind of illness. Um, the dog the dog's pain subsides a little bit, but it's still shuddering um, as it begins to give birth. Um, a, a healthy, normal-looking puppy pops out. I did it, guys. <laughs> From what else? what's what's Ada's telling me? He's just he's just watching. He's sniffing, and you hear him. You hear he, there's a a whimpering kind of like concern um, across the dog. All right, because uh, we're telepathically linked. Mm -hmm. I'm like someone must have fucked this dog, and you you trace the smell back to this place. Speak to me, boy. Where's the source of this madness? <laughs> well, he, he, you're telepathically linked, but he's not smart. He has a, a three intelligence. So he just kind of well, looks at the dog. is. <laughs> um, the, the dog is, is just indicating that some that the scent that he, it picked up from the, the hellhound um, is similar here. As a second pup is born, it is black and twisted. It is steaming hot. The the dog, the mother dog, um, shrieks in pain as this one is born. I'm going to raise this one. And I'm going to treat it right. I'm going to give it to Max. <laughs> you hear... Um, a voice behind you. You guys say, um, "There's no redeeming these things. They come out hearts of evil. There's really only one way to deal with them." With love and compassion. I huh. must say, hey asshole, where's our trophy? Where's our trophy? <laughs> you mean? Thank you for her. <laughs> thank you for saving our lives and making sure that creature died. You're Why welcome. You're tossing coins to me because I'm your witcher. I went broke for you. He he points a finger at at the pup in your hands. He goes, "You'd be best to cut that thing in half right now. Save yourself a world of hurt." raises up to the sky and I pray to the overlords in the sky of Elwyn, Deimos, Renly, and their weird but demented sidekick, Adis. Save this puppy. This puppy. It has a chance. Okay. Um... Roll a religion check. I guide and feel. Holy shit, man. 23. I've never seen you roll that high. So. <laughs> Alright, so you pray. Um, normally prayers are, are useless. Um, for years now. As long as you can remember. You've heard you've heard stories of people telling saying that that there's no one listening. There's no gods listening. You know that no one has seen or heard from a god in, in in a long time. But you you have a kind of a calm sense that somehow something someone heard you. Okay. Geralt says, "It's your choice." Your funeral. Um, he says, but these things aren't natural. If you're looking for a cause, you won't find it. There is none. Nature itself is protesting. 
Nature itself is succumbing to this darkness that's taking over the world. Some blame various things. Some say that the darkening of the moon is to blame. Some say that the king of this land has made a pact with, with the devil. But me, I say bullshit. This world is going to fuck all. And there's nothing that's caused it and nothing that's going to fix it. I've lived a long time. And I've seen monsters. But this... What's going on now? This is something else entirely. He points to the, 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 the mother dog, who's birthed two more normal puppies, and another black and twisted... Um, so this would be the fifth puppy that comes out. Another black and twisted puppy comes out. He says, Nature itself gone wrong. So what is your plan? Just kill every normal dog so they stop breeding these abominations? He says, It's not just dogs. It's the creatures of all kinds popping out all over the place. It's a losing battle. Something's got to happen. But, he says, that's way beyond our pay grade. So what do you suggest we do? Not with the problem at hand, pointing at that second twisted dog that came out. He says, in general. So he looks at the dog, he says, if you don't kill that thing, it'll kill its mother and the rest of the pups around it. And then he, he... Yeah, what I meant is not not specifically here in this situation. In general. He says, I have... I've heard a rumor. I heard a rumor of someone, a person, who might be able to help in all this. I've been trying to find him, tracking him down. I've used this, and he um, he pulls out um, a he says I made this, and he pulls out a a thick kind of paste that's in a, in a, in a vial. It's, it's darkened. It's streaking. You see it, it crackles a little bit with electricity. It's distilled it down from the essence of the Chalicerae's heart. This this is a potion of Olsite. Very rare. Very powerful. Old magic. He says, This is what I need to find the person I've been looking for. Uh, who are you looking for? He says, The dying breath of a very close friend of mine. You got a name? She, she told me. She told me that there was a man, a man on this continent, the other side of the fucking world that had an answer or could at least do something no name but just to go looking for him so I, journe I journeyed across the world it's taken me years to get here I finally got to this accursed place and I see all the darkness around and I'm close I can tell and with this potion here, the last bit of the journey will be made clear. Well then, let me give this to you to help you in your guidance. I'm going to take out a pamphlet. And it's going to be a crayon drawing of Elwyn inside of Deimos Tidy Whities. And I'm going to hand it to him. Use this. This will surely guide your way. 
Is this the ones with all the tentacles? Because I think all of them got bastardized. No, no, no. Everywhere. This, okay. this is just El Elwyn inside of Deimos' tidy whities he takes, he takes a pamphlet, he looks at it, and he says... He says... I don't fuck men. He hands oh, it back actually, to you. <laughs> they don't do that either. They're just really says, like... It looks like they're fucking each other. It looks like it, but they're not. Except sometimes when they're scared. But that's only by accident. <laughs> they're thunder buddies. Thunder buddies. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I've seen... I've seen you handle yourselves in a fight. Not bad. Hopefully not last time, or the time before that. But we swear that, we're good. You're usually way better. I usually hit stuff. He points to the. I he point. He I points stuff to the, in my toe. No, he points to the claw around your neck. He says, "That's a mature hellhound claw. Not easy to come by." I have a few more things to do in this town. I plan to leave in a couple days to go looking for this person. Awesome. You'd well, be welcome we're to join come me. With you, yes. Now we have this paperwork right here. If you become part of the, the group, there's a contract. I'm not joining no fucking group. All right, <laughs> but then that means we get all the money. Says, you can have the money. And, and glory. You can have all that shit too. Oh, I have that already. This is an amazing deal, guys. He's given us all the money and the glory. I just want answers. All I want are answers. Okay. You can have the answers in the most maximum way, but in the most dastardly way. We're going to get all the glory and the money, right? I want to get a trophy for Gwen that makes him not slow. Can we do that at least? Yes. Uh, can can Gwen ride you as his mount? He says, I've only ever cared about two people in my life. And I lost one of them. She's the one who sent me in this direction. Oh. If this person that I'm, I'm looking for can do what he's supposed to be able to do, then he'll have the answers for where I can find the other person. I haven't seen her in a hundred years. I'm gonna tell him. We will help you find Yennefer. But just... Tell me that you won't make another series where you have more boobies than HBO series. There wasn't Makes that many boobies. It was a lot. It makes you it saying, awkward watching it. Yes. Yennefer, <laughs> are you saying you don't have a problem looking at hunchback tits? Yes. I actually do. Yes. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Just promise me. I was born, I was born this way. <laughs> promise me you'll make a series that's more linear in timeline. <laughs> yes. Because I think I know the storyline, but then you fuck really? with me. He, he, like I know it, but then you, you he, fuck he, tur over. he turns around. He starts walking away. He says, "Yennefer's dead. Oh. She sent me here. Well, oh, I'll be leaving really? in two days." On a different plane. That's too bad. Those are some nice hunchback titties. <laughs> I'd hit it. <laughs> 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 Did you even watch the show, Gail? I did. Is it weird that I found Yennefer a more interesting character as a hunchback than when she went all got feet up? I was like, huh, okay, she's not as compelling now. I don't know. It was weird. She was more interesting before. The hunchback sex is okay. <laughs> it's fine. I was like, what else? <laughs> like, if I hadn't played the games, and it's it's like loosely based on the on the very story, loosely. right? Very the book. It's on the book. Very, on the... very loosely, yeah. But I understood the the timeline because I was yeah. watching it with my girlfriend, and she's mm -hmm. like, "What the fuck is going on?" I'm like, "Shut up! I'm trying to watch," and yeah, then trying yeah. to explain it back, 
It's like, damn, yeah, it was kind of complicated. Yeah, yeah. If but if having watched, having played the games, you understand where and and who the people are and that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's leaving town in a couple days. He has a few more things he needs to do. Um, you guys have two days. You're still there's a trial coming up. Um, and you know it's. It's early in the morning now. It's really like 4 or 5 a.m. So this town has started to mobilize. The sun is starting to rise. People, are, Farmers are heading out to their fields to begin, you know, to try to get maximize the day's work. Um, today there's going to be a trial. A trial for um, Lena, um, the lady that you turned over to the mayor. And also there is st- that there's still that, un- that issue of the haunting that you have to work out. And then, and then Geralt is going to head off to find the this person that he's been tracking cool. he's been looking for 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 a hundred years yeah this would be great i don't think we could fuck it up even further than we have already i mean i'm just saying it'll be fine i just think we're amazing and like he's welcome to be like around us like he might be thankful a groupie <laughs> okay without us he's nothing and you guys also level up Nice. It's been a long oh, time since you've been able to level up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we've been, you like, know what, dude? We've been really nice the past couple. We've been making new characters. We got to level up and like level up from like our main characters. Like this is crazy. Dude, this is um. Uh, uh, oh. I'm really like it's nice having like a low level character in one of your games. Like not having to worry about five thousand points of damage. <laughs> uh, so it's a nice change of pace. I really enjoy it. So it's really cool if. Like, the way you're integrating, like, if we can integrate this story and then go back to us, like, Elwyn, Deimos, Renly, and then... It's, it's the same world. Guys. It's the same world. So, I mean, you haven't asked anyone yet what's going on, but so you guys are in... You guys are in... Let's see here. You guys are in Erlen. Like I said, you're, you're like, a right, right around there on the outskirts of, of like, northern Erlen, off of the, the boondocks. Um... I mean, you, you 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 have to ask around there, but there's a bunch of things that have happened since then. Oh yeah, this is love- the t- time here has passed at a different rate from what has gone on in the heavens. So, um, talk to some people, ask them about what's the status of the world, who's in charge, what's what's going on, where the dragons are, where you know that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I'm loving this. I, I I love the like the good back and forth. Like you see, like the like the reason why all this is going on, but also you see like. Yeah, like how you're kind of doing, just like yeah. what the fuck's going on. Yeah, yeah, it's dope. And also because I haven't really planned out what the next layer of Mount Celestia is, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and and I created this world. This 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 setting is actually what I'm running my my real life group through. It's a Witcher based oh, nice. game, so all these all these monsters and quests I've I've run them through like over the past couple of months. So I'm just using material well, that nice. I already had. <laughs> I want to say that awesome, they're probably dude. better than they are. So I'm just gonna go throw that out there. <laughs> or yeah. Well, it's way different. Um, it's way different because yeah. they didn't have a cripple. <laughs> what? You don't have a cripple. You're welcome. You're a cripple. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, yeah, good thing is, running. this is where Paladin starts to get broken. You guys get, like, my charisma to your saving throws now. I know, right? It's best. I'll okay. see you guys. I appreciate it so much. See you, dude. Yep. Catch All you guys right. next week. See you,